Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Paul from Holster Pro Gun Leather. Today I want to show you a couple different options I've got for some inside carry. Um, I've been bringing back an old favorite inside the waistband model that I've been carrying as a pocket model for quite a while now. And I just want to show it out to you. That is my model 523. This is designed to be an inside the waistband model. As you can see we got our Sig P238 in here, not loaded, obviously. Uh, covers everything important on the gun, the trigger, trigger guard. I leave the muzzle end open because it allows lint and dust and possible moisture to flow three, freely through there without getting locked in or uh, doing anything negative to your gun. As you can see, we got the little, uh, I don't know what you call it, sunburst pattern on there, whatever you want to call it. Um, I make everything with a very high quality English bridal leather. Uh, stuff will never split on you as long as you keep it shined up and waxed. I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, care at the end of this video as well but keep this thing dry keep it waxed up and it'll always treat you right this one's got the double layer of leather around the mouth there so when you draw it it stays open you can reholster the weapon very easily also got the same thing in a little little bit different design i want to bring the back up higher on that one for uh, my lcp that i carry once in a while and i made this one my kids are in the shop with me working that day and uh they said, Dad, can you make something that looks like the Incredible Hulk? And we came up with this one. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is for the SIG 290. And let's we'll see if we can pan down here. I'm going to put one in my pocket. This is designed to be an inside the waistband carry, as you can see. But what I've done is made it a little pocket carry. Easy to cover up with just a hoodie, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, anything. And then you could also go ahead and throw it in the, uh, the three o'clock position, the four o'clock position, or even up front in the one or two o'clock position. I find myself when I'm sitting with it inside the waistband holster, it gets a little bit uncomfortable uh, when it's in the front position. That's why I like to bring it around to about four o'clock. But uh, I can make all these custom in any way you need them for any gun on my website. Check it out today, holsterpro.com, where everything is made right here in America. Thank you. A little bit of product care. People ask me all the time, Holster Pro. Can I leave my gun in the holster? All right, that depends on a lot of different things. Myself, every time I shoot my weapon, I like to clean it, take it apart, oil it up, put it back together, make sure everything is working fine. If your gun is clean, if your holster is dry, then yeah, you could leave it in there overnight, leave it for short periods of time. This is leather. It is meant to be a skin when it was on those cows. It absorbs moisture if it is around too much moisture. In my gun safe, I got a bunch of sponges in the bottom that will soak up more moisture than the leather ever will. So this won't get wet in my gun safe. But please make sure you don't keep this under a mattress, under a pillow, someplace where it's gonna get wet. When the leather gets wet, no good. How do we keep it dry? Well, if I'm out hunting and doing something in the rain, yeah, it's gonna get wet. Just dry it off, put it in front of a fan. But in the meantime, how do we keep these holsters dry? With this stuff, Kiwi Shoe Polish. It's waxy and it keeps all that moisture away from your holster. So what I like to do, I'm going to put the phone down here. While I'm putting the phone down, I'll tell you, I get a lot of comments and my video videos aren't the best. I know they're not. I'm not a professional video guy, but I'm a professional holster maker. The holsters are the best. That's all we got to worry about. My video sucks. Come help me make a video. Better yet, do a good review of something. I've had a lot of guys do that and I appreciate it. So what you do, very simply, and this is all I do before I ship this thing out to you when I finish making it, is give it a little bit of dip in our handy dandy kiwi container make sure on the tip there's just a little bit of wax and brush that baby up that's all you got to do brush it up rub it in there nice and good don't get it on the inside just the outside and what this is going to do and i'll show you this get a nice good shot here i'm going to get my little sponge wet and i'm going to drip water on it and what you'll notice is this water whisks right away it does not absorb into the leather as opposed to what I'm going to do with this little piece here that you're going to see, unwaxed leather. I'm going to dip that same water on there, whisk it away. You'll notice what happened. It stayed in the leather. Now that leather is stained. Whereas if I take my holster where I just did that, none of that water got inside there. It will on untreated leather. It will not on waxed leather. Take care of your holsters. They will take care of your gun, which will take care of you. Holster Pro, out.